Subtopic 3.3 Applications At the end of this video, students should be able to solve problems involving first order differential equations. So the first application is population growth model. The simplest growth model has a constant relative growth rate. The word rate here means it is related to time. If we denote the population by y of t, then the rate of change of the population is dy dt. To say that the rate of change is proportional to the population is just saying that there is a constant of proportionality k such that dy dt equal to ky. Okay. And from here, we have dy dt on the left, ky on the right. We have two terms only. So we can try to separate the variable. So we can write 1 over y dy equal to integrate k dt. By integrating both sides, we will get ln y equal to kt plus c. By taking exponent for both sides, we will get y equal to exponent kt plus c. And by using the rule of indices, we can write e k t times e c. And okay, by letting exponent c as a, the equation becomes y equal to a exponent k t. Okay, now we go to the example. Okay, example number 6. In a particular bacterial culture, the rate of increase of the bacteria is proportional to the number of bacteria and present at time t hours after the experiment and follows the equation. Okay, given one equation here. Okay, and Given that the number of bacteria at the beginning is 10 power of 6. So we can construct a table to write all the given information. So when t is 0, okay, the number of bacteria is 10 power of 6. Then after 1 hour, t is 1, the number is 10 power of 9. Find the number of bacteria after 5 hours. So when t is 5, what is the population? Okay, so from the given equation, we can write dn over dt equal to k times n. So we try to separate, we have 1 over n dn equal to k dt. Next, we integrate both sides. We will get ln n equal to kt plus c. By Taking exponent for both sides, we will get n equal to exponent kt plus c or equal to exponent kt times exponent c. Okay, and then we let exponent c as other letter. So let's say we use a. Therefore, we will get n equal to a exponent kt. So, this is the general solution. Okay, now, 
we will use all the given information. So we have when t equal to 0, okay, your n is 10 power of 6. So we substitute into the general solution. So we will have 10 power of 6 equal to a exponent 0 times t. Sorry, 0 times k. And exponent 0 is 1. Therefore, we get a equal to 10 power of 6. Meaning that n equal to 10 power of 6 exponent kt. Okay, next information is when t equal to 1. So, we substitute okay, into the previous uh, equation. So, we have 10 power of 9 equal to 10 power of 6 exponent k times 1. And next, we will get exponent k equal to 10 power of 9. Divide by 10 power of 6. We will get 1,000. Therefore, k equal to ln 1,000. And the equation becomes n equal to 10 power of 6, exponent, ln 1000 times t, or we can write as t ln 1000. So, this is the equation. Next, back to the question, okay, you need to find and when t equal to 5. Okay. So, the question is when t equal to 5. So, we substitute t into the equation. So, we have n equal to 10 power of 6 exponent 5 times ln 1000. And you can use your calculator now. And we will get 10 power of 21. So the population is 10 power of 21 when t equal to 5. Now we go to part B. Find the time taken for the number of bacteria to be 3 times the original. Okay. So when t equal to 0 the initial, the original, your n equal to 10 power of 6. Okay, so 3 times the original, meaning that 3 times 10 power of 6. So this is the question. And now we substitute n into the equation so we will get 3 times 10 power of 6 equal to 10 power of 6 exponent t ln 1000 okay so we have exponent t ln 1000 equal to 3. To eliminate ln here, we need to take ln for both sides. So, by taking ln both sides, we have t ln 1000 equal to ln 3. And you can use your calculator now. You will get T equal to 
ln 3 over ln 1000 and equal to 0 0.159 hours. The next application is radioactive decay models. Radioactive decay models, on the other hand, are very accurate over long periods of time. Okay, if you refer the word here, we have word decay, meaning that the rate is decreasing rate. So that is why we need to write dc dt equal to negative k times c okay and c is the amount present okay so we have here dc over dt is negative k times c and by separating the variables we will get 1 over c dc equal to negative k dt and by integrating both sides we will get ln c equal to negative kt plus d i'm using d here because i have c already okay so we need to use the other letter and then by taking exponent for both sides as usual okay so we will get c equal to exponent negative kt plus d and we apply rule of index we have exponent negative kt times exponent d and we state exponent d as a so we will get c equal to a exponent negative kt now we go to the example radium decomposes at a rate which is proportional to the amount present at any time and follows the equation okay so this is the equation so we can write the equation first we have dr dt equal to negative kr r is the radium if 10 percent decomposes in 200 years what percentage of the original amount of radium will remain after 1000 years so at first when t equal to zero your radium is 100 percent so this is the initial amount okay when the radium the uh, radioactive exploded okay so it emit 100 percent of the radioactive so we state here as 100 or 100 percent but if the initial amount of the radioactive is given so you need to use uh, that given amount nah? uh, for this case the amount is not given so we can simply uh, assume uh, the initial uh, amount is 100 percent okay next 10 percent decomposes in 200 years decomposes here means uh, the year to hilang okay uh, so what is the remaining uh, percentage so will be 90 percent okay at first we have 100 percent after 200 years okay it becomes 90 percent because 10 percent decomposed already okay what percent percentage of the original amount remains after 1000 years so we want to find the radium or the amount remains Okay, so uh, as previous example, first of all, we need to um, separate the variables. So we have 1 over RDR equal to negative K dt by integrating both. 
So we will get ln r equal to negative kt plus c. And by taking exponent for both, we have r equal to exponent negative kt plus c. Or we can write as exponent negative kt times exponent c. And we state exponent c as a. Therefore, we have r equal to a exponent negative kt. Okay, so this is the general solution. Okay, and for the case when t equal to 0 or for the initial uh, number, initial uh, amount, so we substitute 100 equal to a exponent 0. Okay, t times negative k, when t is 0, everything becomes 0. Therefore, we will get a equal to 100. And then, we can write r equal to 100 exponent negative kt. The next information is when t equal to 200, the amount becomes 90. So, 90 equal to 100. Okay, we refer the previous um, equation. So, we have uh, r equal to 100 exponent negative kt. So, for this case, for now, R is 90. So, 90 equal to 100 exponent negative K times 200. Your T now is 200. Okay. By rearranging the numbers here. So, we have exponent negative 200 K equal to 9 over 9 over 10. Right? And then. Negative 200k is ln 9 over 10. Then, k equal to, okay, so what is k? Negative 1 over 200 ln 9 over 10. Therefore, the equation becomes r equal to 100 exponent we have negative k, negative kt. The value of k here is negative. Therefore, it becomes, okay, the equation becomes uh, t over 200 ln 9 over 10. Now, we have negative k and the formula is negative here. And it becomes positive. So, 100 exponent t over 200 ln 9 over 10. Okay. Back to the question. We need to find the percentage remains after 1,000 years. So, when t is 1,000, so we have r equal to 100 exponent 1,000 over 200 ln 9 over 10. And you can use your calculator to get the answer. And we will get 59.049%. Okay. The third application is Newton's Law of Cooling. When an object has a temperature greater than the ambient temperature or surrounding temperature. Ambient here means surrounding. Okay, it cools according to Newton's law of cooling, which states that the rate of cooling is proportional to the difference in the temperature, meaning temperature of the object and the surrounding or ambient temperature. So, we will get d theta over dt equal to negative k. Negative here because the temperature is decreasing. So, this is the decreasing rate. And theta minus a is the difference between the two temperatures. Huh? Okay, where theta is the temperature of the object at any time. T and a is the ambient temperature. The solution to this separable differential equation... It will be, okay, so this is the uh, uh, formula according to the Newton's law of cooling. 
So now we will try to separate. So we have 1 over theta minus a d theta equal to negative kt. And now we will integrate both sides. So we'll get uh, ln theta minus a equal to negative kt plus c. And by taking exponent for both, we have theta minus a is exponent negative kt plus c. And we will get theta is a exponent negative kt plus a. Where your capital A here is exponent C. Okay, now we go to the example. A pie is baked at 180 degrees Celsius is removed from an oven. Okay, so at first, okay, we have 180 degrees pie. Okay, we remove and we put into the kitchen. And the kitchen have the temperature of 70 degrees Celsius. Okay. So the pie is cool of 260 degrees after 5 minutes. Okay. So when t is 0, so this is the initial, the starting, uh, the, we are using theta here. So theta is 180 degrees. Next, the pie is cool off. After 5 minutes, the temperature becomes 160 degrees. Okay, given okay, the, uh, the equation here. Uh, find the time taken for the pie to cool off 235 degrees. So, 135 degrees, what is the time? Yeah? Okay, so we go to the equation we have d theta dt equal to negative k theta minus a and for this case what is a okay what is a what is the uh, surrounding temperature okay so awak tengok kat sini with a constant temperature the kitchen with a constant temperature of 70 degrees here so this is your ambient temperature and if you notice here, okay, the ambient temperature must be smaller than the uh, temperature of the object. Nah? Okay, so we write d theta, dt, we put the uh, ambient temperature here which is 70. Now we try to separate. We have d theta over theta minus 70 equal to negative k dt. And we integrate both sides. We will get ln theta minus 70 equal to negative kt plus c. Okay. And then theta minus 70 equal to exponent negative kt. Uh, times exponent c theta is a exponent negative kt plus 70. Okay, so this is the general solution. Right, okay, the general equation. And now we go to the question. Okay, given when t is 5, when t is 5, the temperature is 160. So, 160 is A exponent. Uh, oh, sorry, I skip when uh, T is 0, isn't it? Okay, so, sorry, we go back. So, we check when T equal to 0 first. So, when T equal to 0, um... Uh, the temperature is 180. So, 180 is A exponent 0 plus 70. Exponent 0 is 1. Therefore, we will get A equal to 180 minus 70 is 110. Okay. Therefore, the equation becomes theta equal to 110 exponent negative kt plus 70 okay so this is the 
equation after we got the value of a. Okay, next information is when t equal to 5. When t equal to 5, the temperature is 160. 160 equal to, okay, we use the, the second uh, general uh, equation here. Okay, kita akan guna yang, yang latest equation lah. So, 160 equal to 110 exponent negative k times 5 plus 70. Okay, then we try to uh, simplify. So, we have 90 equal to equal to 110 exponent negative 5k and exponent negative 5k equal to 9 over 11 therefore uh, negative 5k equal to okay now for for this part by taking long for both sides so we get long 9 over 11 K is negative ln 9 over 11. Then divide by 5. Okay, so this is the value of K. Or if you try to uh, calculate. Okay, so you will get the answer is negative. So 0 0.0401. And then the equation becomes theta is 110 exponent. Okay, negative, negative becomes positive. So we have negative, sorry, this is, uh, we substitute k inside, we substitute k into the equation. And here becomes 110 exponent negative. 0 0.0401 t plus 7 t. Okay. So, this is the final equation lah. Okay. After we got uh, k and k and a. Okay. So, back to the question. We want to find t, the time when the temperature is 135. Yeah. So, we use the, okay, the equation. So, we substitute. This is the question. Eh? So, 135 degrees. So, 135 equal to 110 exponent negative 0 0.0401 T plus 70 eh? we simplify we have 65 equal to 110 exponent negative 0 0.0401 t next exponent 0 sorry exponent negative 0 0.0401 t equal to uh, 60 5 over 110. Now you can use your uh, calculator to get the answer lah. Okay. And by taking loan for both sides. So we will get T equal to 13.12. And for this question, we are using minutes. Okay. So we write minutes here. The next uh, application is electric circuit. Okay, so for, for this is a simple uh, RL circuit, and the equation is di dt plus r over l i equal to e over l. Okay, and uh, r related to inductance. Uh, sorry, L related to inductance, R the resistance, and uh, this is according to Kirchhoff, second law. And we go directly to the question. Okay, the basic equation 
Okay, governing the amount of current I in a simple RL circuit given by the equation here. So, we have di dt plus 50i equal to 5. When t is 0, i is also 0. So, at first, the current i is 0. Find the current at any time t. So, i t in general. The question is, i of t is what? Okay. So, now we go to the given equation. So, we have di dt. So, di dt equal to 5 minus 50i. Uh, we try to separate the uh, variables. So, we have di over 5 minus 50i equal to dt. And we try to integrate both sides. We will get ln, okay, we have ln here, 5 minus 50i, don't forget to differentiate the inner function, so we have divide by negative 50, so we have negative 50 here, equal to t plus c, okay, next we have ln 5 minus 50i equal to negative 50t minus 50c. By taking exponent for both sides, we have 5 minus 50i equal to exponent negative 50t minus 50c. Or we can write exponent negative 50t times exponent negative 50c. Exponent is a number and c is also a number, a constant. So we can let this part as a okay so we have 5 minus 50i equal to a exponent negative 50t and then we state i as subject okay so we have i equal to uh, 5 minus a exponent negative 50t, then divide by 50. Okay, so this is the general solution. Okay, and next, given uh, at the beginning, when t is 0, the current is also 0, isn't it? Okay, so we can substitute here. T0 current 0, I0. Therefore, we have 0 equal to 5 minus A exponent 0 divided by 50. And A will be 5. So, we substitute again. Okay, so, we have I is 5 minus 5 exponent negative 50T over 50. Or we can simplify and it becomes uh, 5 over 50 is 1 over 10, right? So, 1 over 10 times 1 minus exponent negative 50 t. Okay, so this is the equation. And uh, the last application for today is uh, a problem related to velocity and acceleration. So, this is more to uh, physics uh, quantity, right? So, we go to example directly here. Example number 10. An object move from rest. Okay, the word rest here means uh, the starting is zero. Okay, in a straight line, so that the acceleration, okay, acceleration in general, we write as A. And uh, acceleration is related to the velocity, isn't it? So, A is dv dt. Okay, the rate of change of the velocity. 
Okay, so we write the equation here. D, V, D, T. Okay, given acceleration is 8 minus 2V. Okay, so A is 8 minus 2V. So we change to uh, DV, DT is 8 minus 2V. Okay, and then we separate the variable. We have DV over 8 minus 2v is dt and next as usual okay we try to integrate both sides so we have um ln 8 minus 2v don't forget okay we need to divide by negative 2 equal to t plus c and ln 8 minus 2v equal to negative 2t minus 2c. By taking exponent, 8 minus 2v is exponent negative 2t minus 2c. As usual, we apply the rule of indices. So, exponent negative 2t times exponent negative 2c. And this part, okay, exponent exponent is a constant and c is also constant so we can write this part as a so 8 minus 2v equal to a exponent negative 2t and by rearrange by rearranging the equation we have v equal to 8 minus divide by 2. So, 4 minus A over 2 exponent negative 2T. Okay, back to the question. Uh, given uh, when T is uh, 0, okay, the word rest here, okay, from rest here, meaning that at first, uh, everything is 0. Acceleration 0 times 0 and velocity is also 0. So, when T is 0, V is also 0. So, we substitute into the equation. So, we have 0 is 4 minus A over 2 exponent 0. Therefore, we will get A equal to um, A equal to and the equation becomes V equal to 4 minus, okay, A is 8, 8 over 2 is 4, 4 exponent negative 2T. Okay, so this is the equation for the velocity. Okay, next one is, Estimate the value of V after a long time. The word long time here meaning that your T is approaches infinity. A very long time. Nah? So we have uh, 4, sorry, V is 4 minus 4 exponent negative 2T. Okay, if you try to recall the function here, the exponent function here, exponent negative 2t, okay, the graph of exponent negative 2t is uh, like this. Okay, like this. Uh, so, this is your x, this is your y. And the interception is at y equal to 1. So, when you move, okay, to the right here, or when t is uh, approaching infinity, your function or your graph here will approaching zero. Nah? So, when t approaches infinity, exponent negative to t approaches zero so now your v equal to four minus four times zero so this is for the case of a very long time nah? and your v equal to four uh, we are using 
meter meter and then second meter per second okay and the last one show that the distance traveled after two seconds is 6.0366 meter okay uh, we know that v equal to 4 minus 4 exponent negative 2t and v is ds dt so ds dt is 4 minus 4 exponent negative 2t okay the distance here referred to your s here okay so we have ds equal to 4 minus 4 exponent negative 2t so the target here is to find s but if you go back to the question you are asked to find the distance after two seconds right okay meaning that we need to integrate okay from zero until two okay integrate zero until two okay so s equal to 40 uh, negative negative will be plus mm, divide so plus 2 exponent negative 2t from 0 until 2 and we substitute mm, so we have 4 times 2 plus 2 exponent negative 2 times 2 and then minus minus 4 times 0 um, plus 2 exponent 0 and we will get equal to 6.0366 meters okay that's all for this chapter